This video will guide you through the installation process of ControlNet, specifically designed for stable diffusion. ControlNet acts as an interface structure for neural networks, augmenting control over stable diffusion models by introducing supplementary constraints. This facilitates the generation of improved and finely controlled outputs. Follow our step-by-step -step instructions to ensure a smooth installation experience. Now it is time to install ControlNet. Navigate to the Extensions tab. Open the Install from URL subsection within the Extensions tab. Enter the official GitHub URL, which can be found in the description. Now click on Install. After installation, move to the Installed tab and click on Apply and Restart UI. Once the installation is complete, you'll find the ControlNet expansion panel visible in both the Text to Image and Image to Image tabs. Here's how it should appear when the expansion panel is expanded. After installing the ControlNet extension, the next step is to obtain the pre-trained models. I will leave a link in the description where you can find all the pre-trained models. Head over to the Hugging Face website and download the models. It's essential to download at least one model, although it's recommended to have all ControlNet models installed. After the pre-trained models are downloaded, go to your Downloads folder. Select all the models and copy them. Next, navigate to the Extensions folder within your Root Stable Diffusion directory, and from there, access the SD Web UI ControlNet folder. Inside this folder, locate the Models directory, and finally paste the models that you previously copied from your Downloads folder. Please be patient for a moment while the files are being copied from the Downloads folder to the Models folder. With all files in their proper locations, you can now match your preprocessors with their respective models. For instance, if you're using the Canny preprocessor, pair it with the original or pre-trained Canny model. If the model isn't immediately visible, ensure to click the refresh icon next to it. This action should make the downloaded models visible. Once you can see them, go ahead and select the appropriate model. When you decide to switch to a different control type within the interface, you'll notice that the system takes care of the model selection process for you, ensuring that the suitable model is automatically chosen based on your chosen control type. This integration ensures a seamless experience, making it easier to work with various control types without needing to manually select the matching model. As you explore the extension, try various preprocessor and model combinations to match your creative vision. By default, there are three visible control net units. To modify this, go to the Settings tab, find Control Net on the sidebar, and use the Multi Control Net slider to customize the number of units. Don't forget to apply the settings and reload the UI after making adjustments. In this instance, I adjusted the visible control net units from 3 to 2. Congratulations! You've successfully installed control net, customized your visible control net units, and now possess the essential tools to experiment with various preprocessor and model combinations, all in the pursuit of generating outputs that align with your unique creative vision. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.